Hello everyone and welcome to the YouTube channel of Kalra Toppers Academy. So today in this lecture we will give you a brief introduction to LaTeX. So LaTeX is a typesetting software and you must be thinking if we are having other typesetting softwares like Notepad or MS Word then why LaTeX is needed. So we will try to answer all these questions and we will be making a small program using shortcut commands and, and the minimum commands to make an latex document so let us go on so before uh, knowing what exactly is latex we need to know about the parent application that is text so text is a typesetting program invented by donald knuth so it is mostly used for typesetting mathematical documents containing complicated mathematical symbols so this is the use of text or latex over other typesetting software that it, it is mainly used for typesetting mathematical documents as we all know that in mathematical documents there are several complicated symbols like that of integration summation differentiation epsilon alpha beta gamma zeta uh, nu you know that these symbols can't be printed using the or typed using the other softwares like notepad or ms word so that's why latex is very popular in mathematical community being a markup language, it requires user to tell how the document must look via commands. So you, from here you can easily understand that you need to know the commands to type any document in text or latex. So being both language and program, it is also called a typesetting system. So this is what all about text and text is the parent software for latex. Latex being a simpler version of text. So this is, uh, you can see that a version of text designed by Leslie Lampert. So this, the latex is designed by Leslie Lampert. However, the text was designed by Donald Knuth. So in this latex also provides you with the future of making presentation. In latex, it is called a Beamer presentation as you, PPT or PowerPoint is used in MS Word. Here, Beamer presentation is used in latex. We can also generate PDF of our document in LaTeX using Text Studio. So another advantage of using LaTeX is that you can always generate a PDF of your document, which is not in a, a Notepad or MS Word. You means there is no that, that not that much precision and PDFs that LaTeX can provide you because being a program, you need to uh, type the commands and so all the formatting will be remain as it is and it won't be affected while printing so this is one of the advantage of latex over other print uh, of over other editing softwares or you can say that writing it or typing softwares so we can use formatting options like book article letter and notice so if you want to write a book then all the formatting will be automatically done in latex you just need to know the command for that and you need to add book in it then all the formatting for book all the layouts all the margins a book standard margins of a book are auto will automatically being uh, taken care of by latex itself so you you here come to know about text studio so text studio is a text editor for latex and you need to install this as well as the compiler for latex being mictex however it may vary for other operating systems like mac or uh, like uh, linux or any other and even if you are having a, a computer of then you may take any other editing software uh, but you need to install this before using your latex so let us move further so now let's get started we will see how exactly the latex screen looks like and how does it work so you can see here this is how exactly the latex window the text studio window looks like so you can see here above there are the options like file edit tools latex math and wizards so if you uh, don't uh, know the commands for a uh, for the programming in latex you can just click on wizards and after that quick start then 
after you will click on quick starts you can see this dialog bo dialogue box will appear and this provide all the basic information you need to uh, you need in your document like document class you want article you can uh, by default it is article if you want to change it to book notice or letter you can change it default text size is 12 point 12 points and uh, you can click on AMS packages as well so AMS packages contain all the information regarding mathematical symbols and after that quick click on OK you can see that all these commands will automatically appear after you click on OK and whatever you can write anything between begin document and end document and execute the program by clicking on the green uh, triangle below bibliography and you can see on the other side of the screen that hello will be automatically typed on your windows and the PDF is being generated. So whatever you write inside this begin document and end document will, uh, will automatically be printed or the PDF will be generated for that. So whatever it is written above the begin document is called the preambles. These are the basic commands you need to write to run latex command or any other latex thing in latex. So uh, you can see now we will see how mathematical singles, symbols are being typed here. So you need to know the commands for that. For example, integration, you can see I have written whatever uh, another point I want to make here is that if you want to write anything or any mathematical symbol, this had to be written in the dollar symbols that the command should begin with the dollar symbol and end with a dollar system you can, symbol. You can see here that for integration sign, I have written dollar symbol backslash int underscore bracket a curly bracket close raised to the power curly bracket b uh, and bracket close and dollar symbol and after running you can see on the other side of the screen that the integration style being printed here so this is the advantage that you can't type this symbol on other software so this is the advantage of latex and summation you can see the command is being backslash sum for partial differential sign the command being backslash partial frag slash pm if t for infinity and epsilon for epsilon you may here see that i have used an uh, an environment called enumerate here so enumerate is like as you used uh, list item or ordered list in uh, html so here the counterpart is enumerate enumerate will generate the ordered list you can see one, two, three, four here. So this is for the function of enumerate here. So this is you can also uh, uh, zoom the output by clicking on the uh, by clicking on the PDF, and you can see that this is will zoom out. And at last, this is the brief introduction to LaTeX. I hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you.